Good day, dear subscribers. I am happy to meet you again. Today's topic is history of fractions. From the most ancient times, people had to count objects and measure quantities to solve vital questions, that is, to answer the question how many, how many sheep are in the herd, how many measures of granny taken from the field, how many words from the village to the district center. The Middle East is considered the birthplace of mathematics. The ancient Middle East is considered the cradle of civilization. It was here that intensive year-round agriculture raised first practiced via writing the potter's wheel and then the wheel and millstone appeared for the first time in the world the first state legislation and then the first empire were created military science first emerged and the foundations of such disciplines as astronomy and mathematics were laid here to answer the question how many natural numbers were often not enough. So, after killing a mammal and dividing it equally, ten hunters couldn't say how many mammoths each got. And for a long time after the mammoth became extinct, dividing three totals equally among their five children. The mother couldn't tell how many totals each received. Humanity needed to come up with new fractional numbers, that is, to come up with fractions. The need for more accurate measurement of quantities has led to the fact units of measurement are divided into several equal parts, two, four, eight. Each part of the original measurement received its own name. For example, half in ancient Russia was also called half. The first part was called chat. The eighth part was called polchet. The sixteenth part was called pol polchet. Equal parts of the whole measure were called fractions. First parts, eight parts, sixteen parts and etc. Several equal parts were called fractions. An interesting system of fractions was adopted in ancient Rome. It was based on the division of the ancient Roman unit of mass, which was called ACC. The ACC was divided into 12 equal parts. The twelfth part of the ACC was called an ounce. Our time ounces were used to measure other quantities. For example, a Roman might say that he walked seven ounces on the way. At the same time, of course, it wasn't about weighing the path. It was meant that seven twelfth parts of the way were covered. In this way, the transition from concrete fractions to abstract fractions that were not related to any particular measure gradually took place. Writing fractions and the rules for working with them in ancient times were so complex that the doctrine of fractions was considered the most difficult section of arithmetic. To master it, you had to memorize a huge number of rules for actions with fractions. For example, in ancient Rome, there were 18 different fractions in use. There were so many rules for working with fractions that the ability to operate with them was perceived as a miracle. Therefore, always, everywhere, the knowledge of fractions enjoyed special honor and respect. In ancient times, the main fractions that were in common use 
were denoted by special signs. The remaining fractions were obtained from the main ones using arithmetic operations. Among the ancient Romans, an ounce was denoted by the line half asse or six ounces by the letter S, and seven twelves were written like this S line. The modern system of writing fractions was created in India and then improved by the Arabs. This record widely used only recently seen as the 13th century. All the problems with fractions. Problem from the Ahmis Papyrus. A shepherd comes with 70 oxen. He is asked how many numerous flocks do you bring? The sheikh heard, sheep heard, replies, I bring two thirds of a third of the cattle. Count it, task of al Kharizmi. Find the number, knowing that if you subtract one third and one quarter from it, you get ten. Thank you for your attention. Be healthy.